Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answer to no man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Hustle out, hustle every single day. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. Today is the day, my friend, we're going to push the dyno to its limits and find out if it can handle this new amp from Down for Sound. Seen the JP33 through 63 before. You can check the link in the video description. These amps range from 3,300 watts up to 6,300 watts. And we have tested all three of the 33, 43, and 63. But today we're going to focus on the JP83 which is shown here on the website. $14.99 is the current price. It may be different by the time you watch this video, but check it out, link in the video description below. As with all the other down for sound amplifiers, it comes within a box, within a box, within a box. So let's get into the amp here, take off the plastic protective coating, and check it out. JP83 included three of Allen's keys, as well as an adjustment screwdriver for the gain controls, the owner's manual, which includes the four models we mentioned earlier, a USB-A to USB-C cable. This is for the remote base knob, which is one of the best in the business here. We'll pull it out so you can see it. It's got clip light. It's got temperature, voltage, Celsius and Fahrenheit for the temperature, uh, volume as well. And this one is wireless, so you just have to plug it into power so that you can give it power to run uh, the unit. It doesn't have a built-in battery or anything. We'll talk about that later. Although some of the Now for Sound amps come in a basic black finish, these models come with the anodized finish, and this one in particular, the green. Here on one side, you can see the beefy Tiffany-style RCAs for inputs, outputs, and for bridging. Power protect, clip lights, gain control from 0.2 to 6 volts, subsonic, 10 hertz to 50 hertz, low pass 250 down to 35, phase from 0 to 180. We have the switch for the output master input slave as well as four gauge connections for speaker outputs. It does have dual outputs so you can use a dual voice coil subwoofer, etc. On the opposite side we have triple one alt inputs and notice how these inputs are. This is really a Korean build house thing I think the way they don't line up. It's got minus plus, minus plus, plus minus and the remote terminal is in the center. All the JP amps also have an acrylic bottom which shows off the amp guts, which is really cool. As far as ratings go, four ohms, 3300 watts, two ohms, 6300, one ohm, 8300. All those are RMS power at 14.4 volts. Dimension wise, 24 inches on the long side, 9.4 inches on the width, 2.6 inches in the height. They're millimeter equivalents there for people outside the US who use the metric system. Without seeing these in person, it's hard to understand that these are not full bridge. These are half bridge amplifiers, but I'm showing a comparison here, the JP83 and the 63. You can see they're about four inches difference on the length. You can also see the difference in the anodized finish, but I did want to show the DC Audio 3.5K. It's about a 4,000 watt amp, about half the power of this amplifier. You can see it's not much difference in the length. That's technology for you. These new JP amps use surface mount design for all the components, so it does save a lot of room. Now let's fire up the dyno, talk about the things you'll see, the wattage output on the left, ohm load in the center, voltage is on the right. We are using our lithium bank, so expect strong voltage in all of our tests. First up, let's try the 4 ohm test rated 3300 watts at 14.4. What I did want to point out here is the dyno temp here, 119 degrees. What I had to do is I had to rerun the test at the end to get the clamp measurements for the efficiency. That's why you'll see the dyno temp go up and down because these are different runs. So here we go, certified, four ohms. And see at the end it jumps up, 38.92 at 14.79. Uncertified up to clipping. You can forget the uh, clamp measurement up there because we didn't have all the wires clamped, but 4,611 watts at 14.75, very strong. Let's reset the dyno here for the dynamic burst. Send the pulse tone of 40 hertz into the amplifier. And you can watch along as the test goes how the dyno heats up. 4437. Yep, I think that's the best we got. 4437 at 14.85. What about the efficiency? Again, we had to stop it a little bit early because it jumped around. We got 85.6% at 3254 watts. Two ohms mono rated 6300 
at 14.4. Again, dyno temp's gonna be high here because this is run at the very end of the test. Certified 1% THD. It, again, it jumps at the end, 64.57 at 14.68. Now the uncertified test counts cleanly. Uh, again, this is a subwoofer amp. Really the, su the uncertified test is the one to watch for. 76.29 at 14.46, so well above 1,000 watts over the rated power. Again, we do have strong voltage here. We do have a lithium LTO bank uh, excess power yin long, so we are getting uh, plenty of voltage to provide this amp. This is a best case scenario. Dynamic 8231 at 14.63. Efficiency at two ohms, very good, 83.4%. Now things get interesting. The one ohm mono test rated 8300 watts to 14.4. We did have to get an extra flute clamp because <laughs> One is not going to suffice. That's right. More than a thousand amps are going to be pulled from this amplifier. Here we go. Certified test. One ohm, 40 hertz. Check this out. 10,027 watts. Now let's do another run here, certified, just to back it up. And yeah, 10,090, 14.28. So this is a 10K amp if you have the current and voltage capable. Uncertified, 11,823. What about dynamic? Can it go even higher? <laughs> 15,289 at 15 volts. Again, voltage is strong, but wow, that is crazy. Now, in order to calculate efficiency, I had to stop the amp dyno 9421 because that's when it stopped counting cleanly, get 85.4% efficient. Results shown here, what you just pretty much saw. Make sure you stick around to the very end of the video, though. I'm going to do the lower ohm test, and it's really going to just blow your mind. Now, for the Do It Bump Dose segment, hey, I can't do anything better than this. So we're going to let JP's Tahoe show you the capability of these amps. There's nine of them in his Tahoe. He has nine Sundown Neo 18-inch subwoofers. Let's see how it does. I'll leave links in the video description if you want to see more of those demos from the Tahoe. Just crazy. Now let's find out what's inside. Again, you can see pretty much most of the components, but we're going to still take the bottom acrylic panel off so you can see it a little better. And there's one connection here for the fan. And you can see beef, beef, my friends. It has six power transformers, which is needed for the 10,000 plus watts that it produces. And just beef, again, it has plenty of the filter caps here. These are a 35 volt, 1200 microfarad. And then for the rails, we have 250 volt, 1500 microfarad. And then we have money. That's right. They're all stamped with the unique little saying on them. And this one says money. Now, the pros and cons, things I like and things I think could be better. For the pros, rated power in all modes, plus triple 10 inputs. They are linkable. Active cooling has very beefy Tiffany RCAs. Efficiency is top notch. Bluetooth base remote, very convenient. Plexi bottom, so you can show it off to your friends. Handle low impedances, you'll have to stick around to the end to see that, my friends. What about things that could be better? The Bluetooth remote needs power. The remote also has slow ramping. You see it takes about five and a half rotations to get full volume. Uh, the positive and negatives on the amp. Again, this is a Korean build house thing, but I don't like how they're not lined up. You will need upgraded electrical, big time. This is a hugely powerful amp. Korean design and Korean built means this is gonna cost a little more than some of the other amps you're looking at, but hey, you're getting the power here. Again, overall, this amp is just, is definitely the most powerful one I've ever tested on my amp dyno. Again, make sure you stick around until after the video credits to see that. This amp was provided for Down For Sound. I am an affiliate, but I do tell you guys what I think. I appreciate you watching as always. Make sure you stick around to the end. It's Big D, I'm out of here. So to prove this is not clickbait, we're going to show overloading the amp dyno, although it may not be the load that you expect. 8 ohms uncertified. Here you can see, bam, over 8 is what it shows here. And so what we did is after slapping our head, 
we looked at the manual and it shows 2,500 watts at 8 ohms is what the amp dyno can handle. So we must be more than that. I'll show the remaining tests with the audio captured during the test. So stay tuned. Down for sound JP83. We're going to try 0.8 certified 40 hertz. Not sure what it's rated. It's not rated at under 1 ohm. But here we go. Fire in the hole. Please no fire. Here we go. Wow, 12,619 at 14.21. Holy moly. And look at that current. We have over 1,200 amps total of current. Lord. Thirteen thousand two hundred and one at fourteen point three four. Down for sound, JP eighty three. Let's try point eight dynamic burst. Seventeen thousand and ninety five watts. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. All right, crazy load here. 0.67. We're going to try a certified test. 1% THD on the JP83. Got the clamps so we can see the current pull as well. Here we go. Thirteen eight twenty nine at 14 volts. Holy moly. That current pull, <laughs> over 1,400 amps, woo, 0.67 JP83, uncertified, up to clipping. <clears throat> 14,262 watts. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still point go. Eight, uh, point eight, point five slow, dynamic burst at forty go. hertz. I never ran so to know, man. I still go, go, go. There you see it. Twenty three thousand five hundred and seventy eight watts. Definitely the most powerful amp I've ever tested. 23578. Holy moly. You know how them sound waves go? Mm -hmm. Go. Hustle, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. Do the system, I don't wanna be a slave. I've been doing shit my way. 